When you're looking to purchase in North Carolina, there's a possibility that you're looking for a land or home that has no homeowners association because maybe you've had a difficult experience with one. Now, it is possible to find land that has no subdivision or covenants or restrictions or rules. However, there is county zoning, which would prohibit you from doing certain things. And you need to know what the zoning of the property that you're about to purchase is so that you're informed. There's also the possibility that you find your dream home or land in an established subdivision that does have covenants or rules or guidelines, but there's no formal homeowners association. And then the third part is a established homeowners association where they collect fees to help maintain common areas or road maintenance or lighting or improvements. And I'm not saying one is better than the other. What I am saying is that if you are going to consider a property, you want to know the zoning, you want to know if there's rules and regulations, and you want the current rules and regulations because over time, those can have been amended or changed. And sometimes they're even eliminated altogether if enough homeowners come together and vote to have rules and regulations removed. And if there are covenants, but no established homeowners association, that doesn't mean you get to do whatever you want. You're still abiding by those covenants because it's possible to have one of the homeowners enforce the written covenants. They have to do that through a court of law, which is not fun, but it's important for you to know these things because when you purchase a property, we want you to have a great experience and love where you live. And that is your tip for the day.